I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. The self-justifying, self-vindicating, pharisaical attitude that we all have. We must lose to be saved. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get the app, it's everywhere, Higher Things Lutheran, search it, and donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith to the next generation. That's what we're all about, the faith of Jesus. Give today, link in the description. It's tax deductible. All right, so um, the text that I would have preached on this weekend if I didn't have the COVID. <laughs> I think it's like day five of the quarantine. Um, it doesn't matter how I feel. Um, it's, it's not going to get me. Uh, it's just, it, we're going to get over it. But um, I wanted you to take a look at Luke chapter 10, verses 25 and following. And the lawyer, before the parable of the Good Samaritan, the lawyer goes and he... Um, and he seeks Jesus out to test him. He says, saying to him, you know, teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? What I have to do that I might inherit eternal life. And Jesus says to him, uh, what is written in the law? How do you, anagnoskes, how do you read it? How do you, it's like read it out loud. And he said to him, uh, he answered him, uh, you should love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your psuche, that's your life or your soul, depending on, it's the whole of you, all of you. And with all of your um, strength, and with all of your dianoia, that is your, um, it's your mind, but it's also your disposition. It's everything, your personality, all of it. And you should love your neighbor as yourself. And Jesus says, you've answered correctly. Do this and live. And here's the key here. Wanting to justify, to make himself righteous, to vindicate himself, dikai o sai, he said to him, to Jesus, uh, well, who's my neighbor? And what follows is the parable of the Good Samaritan. We all have this problem. We hear the law, we know the law, the laws around us, it's in nature, right, wrong. We know there's something off about us, but to seek to justify ourselves, we always find that what's off about us isn't as offer as other people. They're more off than we are. We're, we're not perfect, but we're more perfect than others. Um, and when called out on the, we love the law, we love the law because it's what other people have to do. Um, that's different from loving the law as a Christian when the psalmist says he loves the law. That's a song for another time. But we, but this, this business is, is that we want to justify ourselves. We want to find a place in which we can be okay. Um, you'll see this in the way that you, when you put somebody into a uh, when, they, when they're in your doghouse, when, you, when they've done something wrong, and it could have been that they, they told the truth about you too much to your face. Uh, they may have actually failed you, but once they're in your doghouse, you will never let them out. In fact, you live with them and you look for faults in them and you find faults in them and you're not really disappointed. You interpret stuff through their fault. They don't call you. They don't text you ever. They don't look after you. Do you text them? Well, no, but you're waiting on them to do it, you see. And all of this is just the varying ways in which we are inescapably, self-righteously, pharisaically, self-centeredly evil. And when called on it, we push away, we justify ourselves. We, we nah, 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 nah. You know, there was extenuating circumstances involved in why I did what I did. And if you just listen, you will understand that I'm not at fault. And that's what goes on with the lawyer. The tables were turned on him. And he saw that he wasn't doing what he should do. And he was doing what he shouldn't do. 
and he knew that he was in trouble. And so he justified himself by saying, whoa, 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 if you just tell me who my neighbor is, then I'll get right on it. <sighs> Take it from a sick pastor with a bad headache. Look at yourself. Look hard at yourself. And you will see that all your failed friendships have one thing in common. You all the people who don't text you, they all have one thing in common. You. All the things that you look for in others, you should be looking for in yourself. And all the places where you seek to justify yourself because you know you're not righteous, not good enough, not perfect, to err as human, to forgive divine, um, that maybe it's time to be honest. You don't, you don't measure up either. And if you don't measure up, then how on earth could you judge others for not measuring up? There's something less than you. In the, um, in the current predicament, we see this in, in, in such a very clear way. Look at the buddy boy over there. We see this in such a clear, clear way. The people who have been looked down upon who have been discriminated against, are now looking down upon and hurting others. They're doing to others the very same things that they cried out for. And the answer is not for us to judge them as evil. The answer is for us to look at ourselves. The only hope that we all have is the forgiveness of our sins, the mercy of God, the love of God in Christ Jesus, that God would have mercy even on somebody, the likes of you and me, that God would send his son to answer not only for our sins, but the sins of the whole world. And that forgiveness and that love and that mercy from God to us is what is passed on to others. So if you want a forgiving God, forgive others. If you want a merciful God, be merciful to others. If you want Jesus's Calvary and Easter to count for you, then let it count for others too. We're all in this together and we're all sinners. And the only hope that we have is the mercy and grace of God achieved on the cross, dimmed um, the forgiveness. He was crucified for our sins, but he was raised for our justification. Raised so that we don't need to justify ourselves before God anymore. So we can point to Jesus and say, you know what? That's where my faults are. That's where my sins are. I lay my sins on Jesus, the spotless lamb of God. And you know what else? Your sins are there too. So pick up the phone and call the person that hasn't called you in a while. Cut them some slack and love them. You might find that they could really use a hello from you. A little bit of mercy and a little bit of love. Stop justifying yourself and be justified in the one who died and rose again for you, Jesus. I'm Pastor George Barkhart from my little cave and I've got Thor with me. He's looking at you. And this has been another Higher Things video short.